what do you think about the animals that humans are forcing into slaughterhouses? Would you consider those beings to be an oppressed group, an oppressed class? Like, you mean the, the, the animals in the home, or what do you mean? I'm talking about the animals who are getting killed. The animals who are getting killed from, for, from for, for, uh, for food, for example, oh. for unnecessary food. Uh, actually, for me, I like meat, lamb meat, okay? You, you mean you want to be the people, uh, like, trans to ma make the like, vegetable people, or what you want? <laughs> well, uh, I'm, I'm just asking, I guess, what... Yeah, yeah. for me... Um, It's like depends, you know. Uh, for me, I don't eat uh, pork, you know. I eat lambs and fishes and uh, no, no dogs, no this bit, no. I don't eat it. But I eat lambs and I eat uh, camels, you know camels. That's how something really. It's delicious. Uh, crocodile, no. Shrimp, no. This is like it depends, you know. But and what does me, it depend on? Um, like, for example, maybe you like some of the way that some animals taste more than others, but what about in terms of the ones that you wouldn't try? Are there any animals who you wouldn't even try to taste because it just maybe maybe feels wrong to you to eat them? Mm, no, actually, like... Uh, so you would taste a dog, you would taste a cat? No, 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 no. I, 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 no, I can't. I will not do it. No. Why, why can't you? Because this, like... Um, I think they have, like... Like... Uh, same like uh, human energy, you know. Energy? Humans' energy, you know. Like they so, have humans' energy. Yeah, and I think they have like more brain, and they have any like um, she will feel everything, you know. They will feel it. The animals, you like mean, like like, like, like yeah, like dogs, like uh, uh, cats, like um, that's. Uh, I think these two types, you know. So you think if you cut a dog's throat or a cat's throat, they feel more pain than if you cut a cow's throat or a pig's throat, for example? Yeah, more than uh, lambs and camels, and I think. But, uh, for, because I'm like Muslim, you know, and it's in my religion, it's, it's allowed to kill, to kill lambs and camels for eating, you know. But dogs and uh, cats and, uh, like, donkeys, no, it's not allowed, you know. I see, so you're basing your kind of differentiation on religion yeah yeah but i, I really like i'm uh, i have a gr agreement with it with my religion you know and i like think about it and i really accept that you know it's for me it makes sense you know do you think that stopping eating animals would go against your religion no no if you, you uh, my religion said uh, you can you, you, if you want, don't want to eat uh, animals it's okay okay great um, I'm wondering if you'd be willing to watch a few minute video of just standard practices in factory farms on an iPad no. you'd be willing to uh, yeah no problem okay great I'll just get that here this is how they get cows pregnant in the dairy industry so a human puts their fist in the cow so they keep her restrained they don't get pregnant naturally that's her new baby that she got and then the farmer takes the baby away because if the baby drinks the milk they don't get to sell milk to humans you know what I mean yeah. so and that's showing pigs I know that you don't eat pigs yourself <laughs> um, but still you know you would you say that this is this is bad right no it's so bad yeah and this is these are no, just no, I don't like this you don't like this yeah and these are just standard practices so this isn't showing like you know crazy instances of people beating them and stuff like that this is just standard the way that they're kept so they're kept in these gestation crates so they're just basically in darkness all the time and they're unable to move you know pigs are actually smarter than dogs not that it matters that they're more intelligent i mean the important thing is that they can suffer you have to know the thing i prefer for me and animals uh li live like the life with like uh, respectful you know and respectful yeah. yeah and everything happened to you and animals, those are chickens it's cool if, if the life it's tough like this, what you show me. Yeah. I prefer the death. Do yeah. you understand me? You mean like, you know, if you were one of these animals, you would prefer to not be alive than to experience this kind of cruelty? Uh, for eating. Not like in the garage or in the, in the like storage, like what you show me, you know? No, I do like these movements and this, yeah. uh, this worker, he's so bad, you know? 
So, I, I, I like there is there is no mercy here. Really. Yeah, and those these are these are gas chambers. So pigs are killed in in they're put into CO2 gas chambers and they're no. basically bur their lungs are burning and then they they slit their throat after they're no, kind no. of weak. I, I, I do like this and uh, you know that some uh, some people like use the electric energy. You know. Yeah. To so, to kill animals. This is showing the throat slitting process. So for cows, for example. They're, they're bolt gun first. In halal slaughter, they actually don't use bolt guns. They just slit their throats and they, they let their blood drain out like that. Um, you know, someone says bismillah and then they, they cut their throat. Um, so this is, this is showing, this is a little bit different because these cows were bolt gun first. But no, the Muslim religion, the, the, it will not tell all about this. Yeah, and, and it doesn't it doesn't allow all of this. Yeah, some of these some of these practices are different. Like I said, you know, in in halal slaughter, they don't they don't use bolt guns. They just they just slit the throat. You know, they, they blindfold the animal. There's a whole there's a whole process that's described, but it's still a very bloody process. And this is showing for eggs. So these chicks, they are males. Since they're not going to lay eggs, they just on this is their first or second day of life. They get ground up. Once the people determine, they say they're boys. They're not going to lay eggs. It's forbidden this in uh, my religion. It's forbidden. So do you do you buy eggs? Yeah, I buy eggs. So th they're th this is what they're doing to the males. They're grinding them up because they don't. They're not going to ever lay eggs. The type of chicken that's raised for meat is a here, different. Is that here in the United States? This is this is um, all standard practice footage. So this particular documentary was reported in Australia. But uh, whether it's in the U.S., in the U.K., Europe, Australia, it's all basically standard practice. So I think I think you've seen enough. But yeah. basically, um, you know, that's kind of the that's kind of the gist of things. But you know, I appreciate your stopping, um, and I'd like to give you a leaflet too. This just has some information about um, different choices that you can make that don't involve um, enslaving Call animals. Call me if you want to kill animals. You know, uh, to, for eating, you have to you have to use the knife you know knife anything else no I don't I don't accept it really because it's the easiest way to kill is the knife but think about let's say if you were a lamb or if you were a camel or a chicken or a cow if I'm a, I'm a lamb I want to die <laughs> well but let's say let's say you're enjoying your life let's say they treat what is you really enjoyment? Well. oh man what is the enjoyment what do you mean like the, the lot, if you are lamb, but you I'm want to join. If you're in one of those factories, I'm saying if you're just out in a field, you know, you're just enjoying your life. You're I eating told grass. you, lamb, chicken, fishes, uh, camels. You know, this no, you can't kill it because I think they they don't have like same human energy. You know, and uh, I don't know exactly what you mean by that. Like. Uh, you said dogs and cats, they do have that energy, but like lambs, camels, goats, they yeah, don't have it? Yeah, they don't have it. It's, it's they, 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 I think cats and dogs are like, like smarter than other animals, you know? But it's not, it's not about the intelligence, right? It's about if they, can, if they can enjoy their lives, if they deserve the right to just be left alone. You have to pretend you're, you're as uh, like lamb. What do you enjoy in the life? I mean, I would, I would enjoy getting to but see, dogs, smell, dogs, hear. Dogs and cats, they, they will enjoy because they are with us, you know. We, you, can you take your lamp to, like, uh, attending, uh, like, anything, like, for song or anything for show? You will not take it. Will you take it with you in your restaurant? No. They don't need us to enjoy their lives, right? They can enjoy their lives on their own. Okay, but, like, the cats and the dogs are different. Because you will take it with you, and they, she understand, you know. She understand. Uh, they, they will understand everything you want. You I, know? I I get where you're coming from. To me, it sounds like um, you're approaching this from a speciesist perspective. Um, so speciesism, if I can explain, is basically a mentality where you treat other animals differently based on their species membership, yeah, it's how they were born. I, I, it's levels. I have whole, I have four horses in my country, and I love them so much. They I. Sometimes I think they are like some like my like my sisters and my brothers. You know, I love them so much. If you hurt uh, them, I will kill anyone uh, hurt them. Okay, but she has like some human energy. You know, so they, they feel and they know me. And uh, if I uh, like, I'm late. They sh uh, all the time they shout. You know, so 
this is not. I, I don't accept this. You know, some so. people have, like, for example, pet chickens where the chickens will stay, you know, waiting for the people to come home from Chicken? work. Yeah, what is pet this? pigs, pet chickens, a lot of places. For example, animals who get taken out of factory farming situations get taken to sanctuaries, for example. So people look after them, and these animals get to live out the whole rest of their lives without being killed and without being exploited for the things that come out of their bodies. And they, you can see how happy they are. I mean, the fact that a lot of these animals act like scared or distressed or kind of manic in their energy is because of the situations that okay. humans put and them you, in. You said we, you, you, you... Are you with him? I'm not because it's our event and we have a and I am the publicist of this event. You're, you're live on YouTube right now? Totally, no big deal. I just wanted to know. Um, this is this is a uh, public area, so I don't need a permit. Okay, all right. So, so you're talking about the, the I, I human wanna, energy. I want to know about your idea. You know, do you do you agree to don't kill animals and we don't eat the meat from animals? I think that the best way I can kind of boil down my are you vegetable? So I'm vegan. Okay. So the, the, my, the best way I can describe my view, my philosophy, is that the other animals who are here, so I believe that we're animals and that other animals are animals. How do, how do you take uh, iron? Iron? Yeah, for your uh, So yeah, I get like, iron from things like um, quinoa, from chocolate, from lentils. Green lentils are a really good source. Um, I also take an iron supplement sometimes, just 20 milligrams. Does it work with you? Yeah, it works well. Iron along with vitamin C together. Um, vitamin C helps the absorption of iron. But to get back to um, telling you my philosophy, so I think that other animals are here with us. So, you know, they, they are fellow inhabitants of this planet. When we look to an animal, we should never be thinking about how we can use that animal to get something out of them, whether okay. getting making money so, from them or getting food out of them. We should just simply leave them alone if we can. That's my. So, so you 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 are not in problem with the ways how to kill. You are the, you have a problem with don't eat meat or uh, any any animal. Not necessarily. So what it comes down to me for me is consent. So, for example, if you're familiar with the group PETA, People for the Ethical Treatment of Animals, their founder, Ingrid Newkirk, she's written in her will, you know, the will is the thing where people follow this after someone dies, and in her will, she said that after she dies, she wants to be eaten at a barbecue. And I think that that's fine. It's but, fine for people to eat her meat because she wrote down that, you know, she's okay with it. But other animals, they can't give us permission. We can't assume that they want to die. if we do what you want, Okay, all of uh, in, uh, in this world, we leave animals alone. Yeah, uh, it's like it will, something will happen, you know, like uh, dangerous issues, you know. Like what? If all the animals, uh, like, don't kill, don't, don't be killed, you know. I'm just talking about hum what humans do. I'm not trying to interfere with what lions do. And but if we do what you want, you know. Humans, yeah. Yeah, animals will be a lot. And they will eat a lot of. Then no, no. they will. We will get like dangerous. No, issues, no, bro. Know? Let me tell you. So I showed you how they're getting the cows pregnant. You know, with like the straw in, in yeah, there. Yeah, no, no, no. I, 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 you said you want to people leave the animals. Yeah, well, is it right? Leave them alone. Yeah, stop breeding them. Uh, stop what? Stop breeding them. So we're they're not having sex and 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 making babies. Humans are. They're, they're getting semen from a bull. So like in the dairy industry, they put something in the, in the butt of the male. They make him ejaculate. So you have a problem with the ways? No, have, not with the, like, eat uh, animals. I, so in, in cases where someone can consent to being eaten, I don't have a problem with it. Okay. As far as I know, the only animal who can consent to being eaten is a human. Because other animals, they're not able to consent to, you know, think about what they're doing to the cow. If they did, if, if that was done to a woman, we'd call it rape, you know? So, so you, you, you see, like, in your, uh, from your vision, the human is, is in the same level with the animals? No. I don't think we're at the same level in terms of intellect or um, in terms of maybe even our ability to suffer. But I think that they're above the level that 
um, our convenience is worth to us or that our taste pleasure is worth to us. Let me tell you something. I'm here like uh, from like uh, six months ago, okay, here in Chicago. I study here master. Uh, I like when I was in my country, I eat every day meat, lamb, lamb's meat, you know. But now I, I like uh, I have like some problems with my health, you know, because I don't eat meat a lot, because uh, there is no halal meat. I don't eat only halal meat because what is halal meat? It's like halal way to kill lambs and uh, animals. But vegetables and fruit are halal also and grains. Yeah, it's halal, yeah. but but animals, it it, ha it should be halal because like what you what you like uh, show me. The, the ways to, how to kill this is not it's not forbidden in my religion and you can't eat this thing yeah let me by, ask by bleeding and by uh, electric uh, kill, killed animals by electric no well on halal slaughter they do make them bleed because that's how you drain the blood out they they sever the carotid artery and the jugular vein they make the animal bleed out and so that you know otherwise the meat is going to be soaked in blood but no but it will be not like this way it will be like a respectful way you know a respectful way to kill an animal who doesn't want to die no how to die how to how to make uh, make them die how I, i'd say don't okay there's not a good if way I to want, do a bad thing if i want to eat meat i i, I should uh, wait the lamb meat lab meat no no if, if i want to eat meat okay should I wait the lamb uh, die? From old age? Yeah. I think that that's better than killing them. <laughs> I think it's better. But hey, I mean, let me tell you. It's like, not halal for me. If she, if she, if the animal die, I, I, I don't, uh, I can't, I can't eat the, their meat. So the, if, you know. If you kill them, it's better than if they die by themselves? No, better. It's forbidden to eat uh, anything uh, d d uh, like death, you know. I, interesting. I, I hadn't heard that, but um, let me just tell you, I mean, so I've been vegan for about 12 years. I stopped eating animals about 14 years ago, and since for 12 years I haven't eaten any eggs, milk, cheese, yogurt, honey, or the meat of any animal. You don't eat eggs? No, no eggs, no cheese, it's no honey. It's still, it's not an animal, man. It's not, but like I showed you how the egg industry, they're blending up the, the males, for example, okay. and they're using the body of the chicken as a resource. I don't think that it's fair to those animals to treat them as a property, as, as something that you as property, as something you can you can own and you can do something with it. Yeah. Um, but anyway, I, I know I, would, do I told you. Do you eat fishes? I don't eat any animal or anything that comes out of any animal. Okay. And I, do fishes, I look like I need protein? One minute, one minute. Fishes, it comes from the sea. Already they, they are like uh, dead. Will you eat it or not? If they're already dead? Yeah. No, I still wouldn't. <laughs> I don't see them as food anymore. It doesn't make sense, man. Well, you know, it's it's because if they're if they're already dead, then and I eat them, I'm still promoting the idea that they're food. I'm still signaling to other people that this is a resource for me to use. And we can just eat plants. It's not really like... Uh... For me, it doesn't make sense. Okay, well, if the, uh, if the lamb uh, like take like their age and they die, will you eat the, their meat or not? I, I still won't because I, I think it's disrespectful to them. To you know, it's, they have a family and they couldn't give me consent. They couldn't give me permission to eat them. So, you, so you will not eat meat. I won't eat any animal. Yeah, but. Um, but yeah, I mean, I appreciate your stopping. I know I said it would be about 10 minutes. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. How's the video? Yep, and, um, and this video will be up, and then I'll be making little edits from that top video. Yep, you got it. Thanks for subscribing. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. And thank you for stopping by, and I hope you enjoy the rest I of really your I really respect your uh, things and your ideas and your opinions. Yeah, likewise. Really. I appreciate your stopping too, Michael, and um, yeah. good luck with your master's program. And, thank, thank you so much. And um, enjoy the rest of your weekend. Thank you so much. All right, thank you. Take care. Take care. All right, bye-bye.